Welcome to a special edition of the Coach's Corner on Juice 34. I'm your host, Christopher Manguel, and we're here with Darren Duke, the head coach of the Greenville Lions. How you doing, Coach Duke? I'm doing great. Yes, sir. So we're here um, going to be talking about the playoff game coming up, but uh, let's get into a little bit of how proud of you are of, of the volleyball team. Well, I really am, and you know, thanks for bringing that up. You know, as an athletic director, I'm really proud of the athletic program, kind of the whole program in every sport you know we've really made a lot of changes and we're really seeing um, you know that success start to grow and so our volleyball team back-to-back -back playoff trips uh, this year they didn't just make the playoffs they were district champs won the by district championship and then really pushed in that second round a really great game and it was big crowds at the game and so uh, super proud of coach Sickles um, and all the Lady Lions. That's awesome, Coach. And uh, let's talk about the last game of the season uh, against Ennis. I know it was a tough battle against a good Ennis team, uh, but the Lions came out there and fought. Talk a little bit about that game. Well, we took the fight right to them. Uh, we had a 25-10 to 10 lead early. Um, and, and in a game that, you know, the outcome wasn't going to affect the playoffs, but, you know, we wanted to show them that, that I feel like we're as good as anybody in the district. Um, I think I've said that, and I believe that when we're playing at a high level, and so... Uh, we had the lead until there were maybe seven minutes left in the fourth quarter. Um, they finally tied it up. Um, then they took the lead with 42 seconds left in the game, and they're a team that has not really struggled against anyone in our district. And, um, you know, they're a 9-1 and one team and a district champ, and so we want to use that to get ready for Frisco. They're also a 9-1 and one district champ and another good team. And so um, I think we've shown we're very capable of playing at a, at a high level, competing with anybody in our region. So talk about that. We're at the playoffs now, Coach. Yes, sir. Uh, how is it, exciting is it to be in the playoffs? Well, it's it's such a great event for the whole community, um, the school, all the you know all the kids and all the groups that are involved. And you know I, I've said it before, Friday Night Lights. It really is the whole town, the whole school, and everybody that's involved in that. And so we all get to go and kind of be a part of that. At the Star over there, it's going to be a great. Um, environment, a great place to play, but you know, you get to hear that band, you know, our band was, uh, you know, Division One or Receive Ones, uh, whatever it is, the best they could be, yes. uh, you know what I mean? I've got a lady, I've got a Lion Pride band member at the house, and so come out and listen to them indoors. You'll be able to hear them loud, um, our flaming flashes, um, our cheer, the JROTC kids, all the things that they do, and uh, this is the challenge now. All I right. don't know if the Greenville Lions have ever scored so many points that we wore out the JROTC push-up guy, <laughs> and we got him at the 40 game, Chris. I'm telling nice. you, I think he got about 48, 49, and he was struggling, and I think his team had to help him, but, uh, you know, man, it's such a great experience for everybody. Absolutely. We hear the crowd counting those points, and uh, I tell him, I hope he's doing some working out because we're planning on doing a whole lot of push-ups Thursday night. So how exciting for the students to actually be involved in a high-profile game like this? Well, we're, you know, you treat it like any other game in your preparation. You try to learn and, and know as much about them and what they do. Um, but, you know, it's interesting because now you're not worried about developing your team for the whole season. You're not worried about all the things that you might do. Um, you've got one opponent to prepare for. And so all of our focus um, is on Frisco. They're a very good team, very fast team. Um, you know, and they really put up a lot of points this year, and they're a returning playoff team. So, you know, we know there are a lot of factors involved. We're playing at one of their home stadiums. Um, and so, you know, we know we're going to have to come with our best game. But I've said it before, when we're playing Greenville Lion football and we're playing fast and the defense is swarming to the ball, uh, we're tough to beat. Absolutely, Coach. And uh, last thing, what do you want to tell the fans out there getting ready for this playoff game? Well, thanks for being a part of it. Um, you know, we're so proud to, to be able to share this with the whole community. And, you know, uh, after the 40 game when we clinched, I mean, there was chaos on the field. You know, we stormed the field and there was ice buckets poured and all a lot, <laughs> lot of good things going on. And so, you know, you got to kind of see what a special thing. And even our exes and some of the kids that have graduated the last few years and how they could come back and celebrate and be a part of that. So come out to the star Thursday night, 7 o'clock kickoff. Um, it's a little earlier than the Friday night game, so come out. Um, it's a great venue. It'll be a great time. Uh, come out there and, and watch the Greenville Lions put on the show. Absolutely, Coach. We're looking for another win. Thank yes, you so sir. much. Go Lions. This video has been brought to you by Juice 34. Juice is your community-owned provider for electric, internet, cable TV, and true local programming.